Hello Internet. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you today about is this. This is the uh, Bearpaw Easy Bow Quiver. Now we'll get sent this the other day for, uh, for me to try out and um, yeah, it's alright. Shoot straight guys, take care. Oh, all right then. Okay, right. The Bear Paw Easy Bow Quiver. Now, um, on the whole, really nicely put together, good quality. This is a lovely bit of leather. You can see the stitching here. Um, it's got the nice little uh, Bear Paw logo on the front there. Um, it holds five arrows. Now, I don't, I'm not entirely sure why bow quivers tend to only hold five arrows. I have a, 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 a quiver on my quiver pack. Uh, that holds five arrows, um, which is fine if you're if you're roving or stumping or you know uh, certain types of field archery, you're fine. Uh, but if you if you're going to get into sort of more target archery, then not so good because you, you end up shooting six arrows at a time. Um, but but yeah, it's uh, on the whole a good quality um, bow quiver. My only grumble um, these straps here quite difficult to get on nice and tight um, and another grumble I hate it when I have to modify something straight out of the packet and on the, there's like a little plastic knob that you clip on the, the, the strap onto um, that had far too much plastic on it to fit through the the holes in the in the strap so I had to modify that straight away so that's that's a bit of a grumble um, but on the whole not bad um, now I'm not really one for using a bow quiver um, I, I find, well they don't get in the way but I don't know I never seem to be quite as accurate with a bow quiver but I don't know if that is purely psychological um, but I think you'll agree this bow quiver looks very nice uh, on the uh, on the bow there it theoretically should fit any, any bow um, recurve, flat bow um, it should fit around the limbs, uh, which is where you've got the adjustable um, straps. Um, I have seen some that are that are Velcro, which which work quite nicely. Um, what else? I mean, the uh, the housing here that holds your uh, arrowheads, um, it's filled with a really high density sort of foam, it's sort of like what you get on a three a really dense three D target. So what you do, you, you sort of push the push the arrows in there. I guess that works better with, um, in the in the sense of a broadhead being a, a sharper blade that would, would would fit in there quite nicely. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, this would be perfect. I mean, I'll, I'll probably keep this on the bow for a bit, and then if I ever just feel the need to pop out in the woods and have a little bit of a shoot or anything, you you just grab your bow and you don't have to worry about your quiver or anything. You just pick up your bow and everything you've got is there. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice. Um, I mean, as you see, I'm holding the bow there. It does want to lean over to the one side, so it does. It does affect the, the balance of the bow slightly, which is something you uh, you might need to get used to. Um, but yeah, not a bad little bit of kit if uh, if you're after a bow quiver. Not bad at all. Um, the straps I'm not overly keen on. Um, I've got a feeling these little plastic bits at some point will probably snap off, and then I'm left with a useless useless bow quiver. Um, but we shall see. But on the whole, very nice bow quiver. Um, most of the parts are of incredibly good quality. Um, yeah, that's about it really. What I'm gonna do now, using the, uh, the magic of editing, I will cut to myself in the garden, shooting. <laughs>
Right, back from the uh, the garden. Now these are the when you when you get your bow quiver. This is what you get. You get two bits. You get the uh, the top bit and the bottom bit. Um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll just show you how to, to put them onto a bow, and uh, hopefully I'll do it first time without too much swearing. Right, we'll start with the uh, the top one. Now, uh, it, if you're if you're right-handed, it will go on the right side of the bow, um, so so it doesn't interfere with your left bow hand. But uh, what you do, there's a you see there's a there's a gap, there's a rub, there's two bits of rubber, and there's a gap there. What you do, that fits onto the limb like that. You don't want to go too high because it's going to affect your uh, your actual limb movement. So you want it on the especially on a long bow on the on the riser part of it. Um, and what you do. You stretch that over and clip it on. First time you do it, it will be incredibly difficult. Um, but it's one of those things that the more you take it on and off, the easier it gets um, to, to to go on. Um, then we take the bottom bit, exactly the same principle. You, oh, you really need a shorter bit. You pop it on like that, and then pull that. Sh Come. On. There we go, and pull that on like that. So there we go, there's your bow quiver fitted. Um, to load it up with the arrows, you pop uh, you pop the point into the, uh, the rubber there, you clip it into the bottom. Now that is a tight fit. Put it in the wrong hole. There we go, that is a quite tight fit. Now these are a smaller diameter arrow than what a lot of you guys are using. Um, this is the Eastern Axis. Um, so let's see how it goes with, I mean this is a, a pentathlon timber stick. Let's give that a go. Drop it down there a sec. I, need, I either need a bigger man cave or a smaller boat. And that does fit in. Um, it's very tight. And I imagine it's the sort of thing that that will get better after a, after a while. I think I think it is quite a tight fit, but but I think it will loosen up. Um, so yeah, that's how you put your uh, arrows in the uh, in the bow quiver. So um, yeah, that's about it really. That's that's your Bearport Easy Bow Quiver. Um, something a little bit different, bit of fun. So uh, yeah, um, if you uh, feel free to. Uh, Tickle that little like button, um, it helps me out loads and uh, it would be great if you uh, would uh, subscribe, also helping me out, but, uh, but most of all shoot straight guys, have fun and uh, see you soon, bye bye.